Hello there, today's video is the Grandstand Hawk. There we go, the Grandstand Hawk. Now this comes in loads of geysers, the main one being the low TX40. Unfortunately it's got a stub power lead and that will have to be replaced with a new one. So we'll pause the video and do that. However, I will be servicing it with the low TX40 service manual, which is pretty near, not quite the same, but pretty near. Okay, we've made up a mic and put a power lead on, switch it on, on it comes on channel 40, meter light comes on. Oh, ooh, bit noisy. Now what I remember about these sets is, believe it or not, most of them were too powerful coming out with five and a half watts. I seem to remember we had difficulty turning them down. Anyway, I've got the manual in front of me and we'll start off by going through the VCO. Okay, I've had to read up this on the, so long since I've seen one of these sets. Uh, what we have to do to set the VCO is locate test point one. But just neatly, they don't tell you where test point one is. It's actually capacitor 68. And capacitor 68 if I can find it again it's just there okay getting back to where we were my telephone <laughs> rang and I had to go and talk to somebody for 20 minutes um, it was capacitor 68 we're looking at to do the VCO. Capacitor 68 is there. It's a, a ceramic capacitor next to this uh, coil L17. And you've got a there's a white wire goes in there. There's the first leg there, and it's the far leg. So I've now got my test prod on there, and we do this on channel one. And uh, what does the book say? Oh yes, adjust L4 for maximum. So it's not a particular voltage, it's adjust L4 for maximum. And L4, the VCO coil, I'll have to zoom out to show you that. That is L4. So I'm just, I've am just i got 2.09 volts on my digital multimeter. You're supposed to do this with an RF voltmeter. In actual fact, I couldn't get a reading. Okay, now moving on to the transmit the VCO, that was the receive VCO, which I say is the far leg of capacitor 68. The transmit VCO is capacitor 26. Now, which leg is it? I'll try, we'll soon tell you. It looks to be the left hand leg. So it says uh, adjust CT2. We're still on channel 1. And we, oh no, it's a just CT1 uh, for 2 volts. So CT1, I'll just find that for you. CT1 is the trimmer just there. It's the right hand side of L1. So we're going to set the radio in transmit. Make sure I'm channel four, uh, channel one. I've got 2.4 volts, so I'm just going to adjust that for for two, as the manual says. Uh, 
and that's what we've got. I'm just going to check with we've, we've got lock on channel 40. And I've got lock on channel 40. So that sets the VCO. So I say it's the left hand leg of capacitor 26 for transmit and then it's just CT1 for 2 volts on channel 1. And that concludes the VCO. Okay, having set the VCO, we'll move on to the transmitter. So trans the first transmit coil is L5, followed by L6, L11 and L12. And L5 is neatly under the wiring harness and is just there. One just there lurking, so I'm not got. I'll just. I'm getting three watts on out of this radio at the moment, so we'll just see if we can peak that. We can. It's done about three point one now. Wow. Um, L six is the next one, and L six is the one to the right. That's peaked. And then that's followed by L11, and L11 is neatly filled with wax. Hopefully the yellow tool will fit in there now. It does. It's about 3.2 watts. And then that's followed by L12. L12 is the one between the screening plate and the antenna socket. And that's now peaked. And then we're just L8, which is the one in the lower compartment, to get the desired 4 watts. it now has done. So that's now spot on as far as that goes. So what we now need to do ah, oh, this, this has got a delta tune haven't we on this. Now what do I have to do about that? Well, to make sure the delta tune is switched off. So I've done that. Now then, uh, variable resistor 1 is the power meter adjustment, moving to VR1 now for the power meter, it's a vertically mounted preset, I'm just tilt the radio so I can see that, I can't get that tool in there properly so we'll just try it with the other one. Oh, there we go. That's now set as the manual says. It's not labelled, the, the red uh, transmit range isn't labelled 1 to 4 like you'd expect. It's got a little mark and it tells you to calibrate it as if it's S9. And that's what we have now done. So the next thing to do is to check that the delta tune is switched off. And we need to check that, oh, variable resistor number 9 is to set the frequency. That's interesting. So variable resistor number 9 is at the front here. Now that hasn't got enough range, so what we will just do is set the frequency on the 10.24 using CT2 the trouble is you see these crystals drop with age yes we can pull it up, that's okay 
So I've now set that to 2779122 on that. And we'll just finish it off with the variable resistor number 9, which is just here, for complete accuracy. And we have it's 2779125 now. Right, the next uh, adjustment to do is variable resistor 10. And variable resistor 10 is for the high-low power switch. Now, this should be 0.4 of a watt. Let's see what it's doing. And the answer is about 150 milliwatts. And that is variable resistor 10, which is at the back here. We've soon got that spot on to 400 milliwatts as it should be. Let's switch back to high power. The next one is deviation. It's variable resistor 4. So if I just locate that for you, and then we'll get the little oscillator out. It's just here at the front. So I'll just put the yellow tool in there ready. Get the oscillator out. We can switch the other camera in today. That's been replaced. Right hand oscilloscope. And we're looking for two and a half on the meter there. It's two point one, it's not far out. That's two and a half. We'll just do the quick whistle check. <whistles> Wallow. And that that's correct. That's as absolutely as it should be. Two and a half maximum deviation. So we'll switch that camera back off. And that covers everything I can think of on the transmitter. So it's doing 4 watts, it's on frequency. That delta tune thing's one to watch because that needs to be tuned to the off position when you're setting up the frequency. So it's all set up a treat. So the next video will deal with the receiver. This is the Grandstand Hawk.